Hey cute people, happy Valentine's Day. It's almost over, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Not long ago on a previous video, I had a question posed to me. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to answer it because the person I believe doesn't have a Google account or a Google page, so I wasn't able to reply. But I really wanted to answer the question because they ask a great question. And you know, sometimes when you ask a great question, you want to give an answer, especially if you're a talker. But the question they asked me was, which do I think was more important, your technique or the products that you use? I wanted to respond, but I wasn't able to. I was like, dang, nabbit. But anyway, this is my opinion, and I really, really want to know what you guys think. That's why I'm uploading the video. Not just so that I can be heard, but more or less because I really do want to know what other people are thinking in reference to that question. I think, hands down, it's your technique. Hands down. I don't care what variation of a shea butter, curly whip, kinky custard, um curling powder pudding whatever it is that you use in your hair if your technique is not great for whatever type of hair you have then you won't get the results that you want case in point on one of my videos about on your handmaids i don't know if it was a review review and demo whatever it was that i did but i mentioned that with my type of hair in certain areas the twist now, results weren't what I wanted them to be because it's more kinkier and certain parts of my hair I have to twist very tightly and they should be small. I know that, right? But I didn't and I didn't get the results that I wanted. So I think I mentioned it in the video and then someone commented back to me that I should have used a gel. Now I could have, but it really wouldn't have done any difference because I noticed with my hair being tightly coiled my technique which should always be in certain areas especially where it's um, kinky and coarser at should be smaller twists well pretty much just smaller twists because I get better results that way if my hair being since my hair is tightly coarse coiled and coarse if I do it too loose then it doesn't catch and I won't see any type of pattern. That's why I say your technique matters more than the product that you use. Now, we all know and love Onion Handmade. I know I do. Everything I've bought from Onion Handmade, I like everything. There's some things I like more than others. But that happens to be, I would say, one of my favorite natural hair care companies. I haven't tried an awful lot. But from what I've tried, I like Onion Handmade. But I've come to notice that... With any hairstyle I do, like right around here, mm -hmm, on both sides of my head, if I don't make my twist smaller, then I will not get the results that I want. The ends will be really, really frizzy, really, really, well, they'll still be tightly coiled. They won't be stretched or anything so that they will look good. And that's why I say, I don't care what it is that you put in your hair. And we all know if you flexi rod your hair, if you put curl formers in your hair, if you do any type of straightening to your hair, if you don't comb it, which is part of your technique, if you don't comb it out, get those tangles out, make it as straight as possible before you roll it, it's not going to look good. We know that too, right? So it doesn't matter what you put in your hair. We can spend a lot of money on a lot of products, which I have done, but I've slowed down an awful lot and get the same type of results from all of the products. I'm, I'm going to be honest and tell you, I think as far as products, you don't need anything at all more than maybe shampoo. Your conditioner, your deep conditioner, I should say, because we don't need rinse outs anymore, right? So your shampoo, a cold wash if you want, which could be how, however you decide to do, you know, a conditioner or actual 
co-wash, you know, by a company that meant to be for co-washing, going round and around. But, um, and that's pretty much it. You can get yourself some oils or some shea butter, and that's it. We don't need to spend a whole lot of money that we do. And it's okay because it's obviously something we want. Hopefully it's something that we all can't afford. And we get it and we put it in our hair. But if you realize, and I'm sure that you do, if you don't buy those things and you go to the store and just get you some shea butter, some olive oil, coconut oil, just the basic things you can find in your home, that will do the job. So does your products really, really make a big difference? Like I said, to me, I don't think so. Because if you take the time to do your hair, right, for the results that you want, you'll get exactly what you're looking for. And anyone who has tightly coiled hair like mine, if your hair is tightly coiled, you know exactly what I mean. Me, myself, sometimes I think, oh, I want to try this style. I want to do this. I want to do that. But then I say, nah, because then I have to do too much. There's no way I can, me, decide that I want to do, say, um, a blowout. Because then I know I got a really, what, uh, so many different styles that I have to straighten my hair and make sure I have all the tangles and knots out. Now, that's okay for someone who wants to do it. But if you don't want to do it, to me, it feels like and it seems like a lot to work. Now, I will do it at some point because I want to experiment and do it. But to me, your technique means everything. Because if you don't prep your hair right as far as getting it straight or twisting it correctly, it's not going to look good. If you twist your hair in real small twists, you know you're going to get a better pattern. And it's definitely going to look cuter. Some people can put big chunky twists in their hair and it'll look great. I can in certain areas, but not all areas of my hair is not going to look good. And I know that. So your technique means a lot. Get your technique down and you're good to go. Technique as far as if you want to wear your hair in a bun. If you know how to slick your hair where it can't be slick or laid, I should say. Would that be the word? Then it's going to look good. It's going to look good. It's going to look fantastic and definitely pretty. But if you don't get that technique down to get your edges to lay like you want, it's not going to look as good, right? So what the technique may be, tying a scarf around your head till the gel dries and then you're good to go. It's the same thing with makeup, right? You can have the prettiest, expensive makeup out, MAC, Clinique, um, Mark Jacobs, whoever makes $75 um, foundation, you can have all that, right? But if you don't know how to put it on, is it going to look good? So that's the same thing I feel with your hair. We can go out and spend a whole lot of money on a whole lot of products um, and don't do the technique correct. Your hair ain't going to look like naughty. It ain't going to look like nothing at all. And you know that. So I'm really curious to know what you guys think. Like I said, I'm uploading this video because I want to know what you guys think. Not just to hear myself talk, y'all. You know I got much love for y'all anyway. Because y'all always you know, give me some type of feedback. So I greatly appreciate that. But um, there may be more I can say about that. With the technique and all that other stuff. But so far, I'll just leave it at that. Because... After you, you say technique, what else can you say? Because you, you got to get it right. Because with your hair, you can fake it till you make it. Because if you got the technique down, you, you know, you put on a lace front wig, if you know how to do it right, do it good, somebody may be able to detect that it's not your hair, but it look like it grew out of your head. So that's what you want, right? Mm -hmm. I know I do. I know I would anyway. I haven't worn a wig in a long time, since I've been natural. A long, long time now. Gotta buy one, especially for the summer. I should I wanted to buy one now, but I don't really need to. Listen, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Product or technique. What's your best technique for any type of style that you want to do? And especially, especially if you have tight corals, because we tight coral sisters get the short end of the stick, I think, sometimes. Because 
Well, our hair is beautiful anyway, so it really doesn't make a difference. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I love wearing my hair out. Oh, yes, I do. Out. And I can't wait for it to get big. Nothing but big, big, and oh, so much bigger. I'm going to be a 60-year-old woman with a fro like this. Woo! Yeah, I ain't 60 yet, but I only got 10 more years. So I want to thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next. And you know I want you to do nothing after you leave a comment below, technique or product, which one. And then I want you to share and spread love. Hey cute people, subscribe to my channel and check out my last three videos if you missed them. Also, I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram as Ebony Girl Speaks. Facebook, I'm Ebony Girl Speaks Naturally.